Hi, the Shrink Next Door fans. Welcome back to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. And I'm Dr. S. In this video, we'll be discussing The Shrink Next Door, episode eight, the finale, which is called The Verdict. The Verdict. How satisfying was this episode for you? It was if I didn't keep in mind that 27 years have passed since he saw his sister. Mm-hmm. I understand why it was almost unforgivable for yeah. her. So, well, it they uh, give us a nice little lovely flashback of 1982 with Phyllis. Mm -hmm. He picks her up and the kids, and they're having so much fun in the car, and it just sets up the oh sadness. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> it was so cute. Yes, it was. And then I like the intro. It showed the cracks in the wall and the yes. chipped paint. Mm -hmm. Perfectly done. Yes. And then there's a lot of time jumping. So now we're in 2010. And he's listening to a voicemail from Dr. Ike. And, it, like, part of me thinks that... Because he keeps replaying this yeah. message. He's still in it a yes, little bit. Mm -hmm. It's like a sickness of yes. some sort. And then he wants to take his uh, employee, Bruce, to lunch. And he just wants to hang out and try to reconnect probably with people yeah. that really know him. Yeah. And he asks about Phyllis. And then he calls Phyllis, mm -hmm. pretending to be somebody else. And she says I, she wants to give him nothing. Yeah. Whatever he needs, I'm not giving it mm -hmm. to him. So, um... Then he goes back to Dr. Ike. And why did he do that? Remember that session and Dr. Yeah. Ike's like clapping. Oh, that was so disgusting. So smug. Yes. Oh, and I don't know. But I did like it when he told him to sit down in the chair. And he didn't. He sat on the couch. Yes. He sat where he wanted yes. to sit. Mm -hmm. And then he asked him to be best man at his uh, vow renewal ceremony. Mm -hmm. And he says yes, and I was like, oh, crap. Yeah. But then, I was like, no. No, don't do this. Doing this? Yeah, he's still in it a little bit. He's yeah. got one foot in, yeah. one foot out, right? He doesn't know how to be alone. Mm. Well, that's what he wanted. That's what Dr. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ike wanted him to depend on, yeah. right? And then Dr. Ike tells Bonnie after the fact. So That made me so mad. Uh, so he basically, it was kind of like the whole bat mitzvah thing yeah. back when they first met, right? It mm -hmm. was like I just creating this thing to like lure Marty in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and an excuse to have a party. She even said it. Bonnie said that, you know. And Bonnie's still with him. Yeah. Okay, I know. remember, she's just as guilty. Yes, I, but, I agree. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, she gets a little bit of points for not agreeing to the renewal thing, but not enough. It's not enough at this point. Yeah. You should no. have told Marty, run. Yeah, right. And left your husband. And left. Exactly. And, like, what happened to the twins? They never showed the twins again. Like, I wonder how they are. Right. Anyway. And then he... Uh, Marty meets with his niece, Nancy, who's now older and has mm -hmm. kids of her own for coffee. And she's rightfully uh, yeah. uh, short with him and halfway thought he was going to give an apology. I kind of was waiting for it, too. Isn't it funny that he wouldn't apologize? Not that he wouldn't, but he didn't. He didn't even know that he should. Mm -hmm. He didn't really even think he did anything wrong. Yeah. That's kind of... That's how up. in deep he was with Dr. Ike. And then Marty tries to go back to the frame store looking for Hannah. I mean, this what is, is wrong years. with him? I know. He's so far He's out. He's so out, like, delusional. So out of touch. And then he finds out about how Di Dr. Ike is the one that told Hannah to stay away from Marty. Like, he needs yeah. to so more, work on himself. Yes, more evidence that this has been thoughtfully executed against him. And Marty realizes that. Yes. And calls him and says he can't be his best man. He changes the locks on his Hampton mm -hmm. house. And then yes. we thought Dr. Ike pulled up and he's hiding behind the couch. <laughs> and uh, because I think he knows if, if, if I let him talk to me too yes. long, I'll be sucked back in. Yeah, right? he knows. Yes, mm -hmm. he does. Which is great that he's aware of that. Yeah. But no, it's Phyllis. So we get to see our Catherine Hahn again. Yes, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. What a treat. She says to him, don't talk to my daughters, my kids, leave us alone. But then she has to use the bathroom and then she kind of gets to see what happened and she sees yes. what where's the tree. The, oh, that was so sad because Their that family signified tree. so much, right? Like yes. It's one thing to not talk to me for 27 years, but you also chopped down the tree. Oh my gosh, I know. And she's like, what did you do to our house? Yeah. Which, and Bonnie's kitchen. And oh my just gosh, every the pictures on the wall. Yeah. Oh, that, that was so gross. Yeah. And he just kind of tells her casually what's been going on and he, she says that she had to make Marty dead to her, mm -hmm. and then he's like, "Help me make Doctor Ike dead to me." Yeah. So, and then they start burning things. They have this nice little cathartic yeah. bonfire, um, and then she asks him the question we I think always want to answer: like, "Aren't you angry at yourself for allowing yeah. this to happen?" But before he can answer, Ike shows up and demands his manuscripts. He's like, it's okay. I'm just going to go in and get some things. And then he's like, where are the effort my manuscripts? And then Marty kind of burned some yeah. of them, which was really That awesome. was really satisfying. When when he was, Dr. Ike was trying to take his stuff and he kept saying, this is mine, this is mine. 
I was so mad. Yeah. Like, none of that's yours. He's acting like a little brat. Oh, like, he's definitely he's like, this is mine. Oh, and, it was so bad. And then he tries to take his coys and that. that that's, that's it. it. <laughs> Those are the two him. things. Don't mess with the cherry tree and the koi. And the koi, yep, exactly. And he finally yells at him and he cries and he says, you took my life for 27 years. You, you know, made me lose touch with everybody that cared about me. Yeah. And then it's a year later. Yes. And we finally get to see what this beekeeper costume from the <laughs> know. very first episode was. So It's so weird, though, that still Dr. Ike is controlling him, right? Because uh-huh. he sent him those bees, and now he's beekeeper talking to the bees. Like, he's he's named all the bees. Just like he did with the koi. Yeah, the, all the bees, like, really? Seriously. I, I mean, know. it's funny, right? It's like a dark comedy, I think. Is that what we've decided yeah. this genre is? Yeah. This is a whole new genre altogether of TV. Yes, indeed. Um, But he's also planted another tree, so Mm, he's trying to get that back. And then he's back with his family. He Mm -hmm. has his sister, niece's nephew, their kids. Mm -hmm. So that was really cute. But what was really sad was that when he's, um, the one guy asked him to leave the door open, and he can't. He's afraid. He's afraid. Of Dr. Dr. Yes, Yes, he is. That's so terrible. That was really sad. And then finally, we're in 2021, and... There's uh, this legal, obviously, thing going on, and Dr. Ike is just still trying to take credit for Marty's progress. Oh, oh my gosh, how? How? Uh, how is this even possible? He still thinks he did nothing wrong. The- it's delusional. It's, really, it's like nauseating. Mm-hmm. It's so nauseating. Yeah, and then Ike asks if there's anything he wants to say to him, and he says, yeah, I forgive you. <laughs> it's never going to happen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But when they were telling us kind of the update of where things stood, it took 10 years for them to take his license away. 10 years. That's ridiculous. Really? He ruined so many. I mean, we... Yeah. Two, yeah. Other people, too. Yeah, so many. He <sighs> had someone leave $20 million to him in their will. Thank God they got that back. Yeah. And then Miriam. I think about poor Miriam. Oh, I was kind of hoping there would be a full circle I was hoping so also. Yeah. I did like the full circle thing, though, where, um, you know, in the beginning when they showed Phyllis saying, like, I'm so, you know, I deserve this. And he's like, no, you're just a schmuck like the rest of us. And then it came full circle. She got to say she it to him. She got to say it to him, too. Yeah. That was really cute. That was a very touching moment when she put her hand on his at the table. She's like, this is just my bag of bones, brother, or whatever. Yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, it's a happy ending, but it took 27 years, really longer, because mm-hmm. of that 10 years yes. that they had to wait. So I still cannot believe. I can't. They showed the real people. This I, really I know. This when they really showed the picture happened. of them. I know. I can't. That, I guess I'm naive, because I just can't. But besides his license being taken away, did he get any, he anything He deserves, else? like, jail time. Yes. Seriously. Embezzlement. I like, I mean, all he should these... have to pay all that money back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. $3.4 million, Is that what it was? Something crazy oh, like that ridiculous. from Marty. But... Anyway, you know, we got to see the story, so now people can, you know. Be a little wary yeah. if your therapist tries to do, well, any of things. But you wouldn't uh, even. You just no, can't. No, no. <laughs> don't uh, even go to lunch. You're not supposed to do that. Boundaries, right? Boundaries. Your time's boundaries, mm-hmm. yes. Okay, so that is the end of the Shrink Next store. <laughs> What did you all think of this series? It was kind of zany. It was kind of up and yeah, down and crazy. The tone was a little weird. It was, but Will Ferrell did a great job. Paul Rudd, weird timing with Sexiest Man Alive, but... You did a great job of being super disgusting and despicable. Yes. Good acting. Yes. And Catherine Hahn is always oh, so good, good. I missed everything. you in I the know. middle of the, know, the five episodes in I the know. middle. Where were you? But, we yeah. missed her so much. Can you imagine how much Marty missed I know. her? Yeah, so true. It was good. I think it was a very good series. Yeah. It was nice. All right, so comment below. Let us know what you thought, and please like and subscribe. And remember, we review a lot of shows. We have a lot coming out in the new year. We have This Is Us and plenty more. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.